Okay guys, we are back with our 7th JavaScript tutorial and this tutorial we are going to learn about the functions. So functions are basically very important in JavaScript and you can say that functions are a small program. Most people call it that they are small, small, useful, tiny, you know, some, you know, because of their functionality. So now let's see, have an example. I, in this case, I have my Facebook page open. And you can see that I have posted here. There is a like button. You know, you can like the post, you know, use the comment to put a comment below or share the, you know, share this post. So, to like, to comment, to share. The Facebook have implemented a, a function be, behind this text. So, they make it a link and a put a function behind this one. So, whenever you click it, it automatically you know add a like count so increase it a one whenever two guys like it it will display that two people likes when three is three you know and so on so that continues so basically there is a function behind this link here you can see like comment and share so that is an example of what function are basically there are a small program to do a specific kind you know to do a specific job for example it may have a few you know few statements that will execute whenever you call that function so in this case we will create a function and also call that function from our html page so for on the js on the js our javascript page or dot js file we will create a function so for example let's create few variable first we are total and now don't give it a value here or you can initialize it with zero so now we initialize it with zero so now we have a variable zero a variable v1 is about you know let's go with 55 and then create another variable ver v2 with the value of 5 okay now i will create a function which will add them and also multiply them so uh, adding function and the multiply multiplication function so we will create two functions so now let's create the adding function to create a function we use the function keyword as we you know we do the ver for creating a variable in this case we will use the function keyword to create a function now we have to type the name of the function in this case i will go with add and to create a function you have to specify that it is a function by two small brackets and now the body of the function continues it from here use the medium bracket for the body of function and two small brackets to tell the browser that it is a function you know you know basically these brackets are used to give the parameters which we will do in our later tutorial but in this case just you know just type these two brackets okay now i want to add the v1 and v2 and i will store the result in total so now let's first of all let's type the variable in which we want to store our result we want to store our result in total equals equal sign and then v1 plus v2 so now let's you know it will just store the value it will it doesn't display the value so to display the value we will use with alert alert and then type the total here okay now let's make a string before you know if it can display the total totally instead of total we use the sum the sum is equal to and now use the plus sign a concatenation symbol and then go with the total just simple as that now create another function for multiplication i am a little you know little lazy so i will copy this one and modify it so that the typing might be reduced okay now m u l i will use just mul instead of full multiplication you can always do this now okay so mul in this case i do not want to edit them instead of edit, adding them i would i would like to multiply them so i will put a steric symbol there so now total with multiply them and display in total so it is a mistake we have 
a spelling mistake i think total let's copy them and paste them okay here you go now it will replace the value of total whatever value it already has by the addition of v1 and v2 and in this case it will replace the whatever value total already has with the value of v1 multiplied by v2 okay now let's save this file and let's create two buttons so that we can call those function whenever we click on those button like we did with now in the facebook like button or share button so now let's go with input type is equal to button and now let's specify the value so that some text should appear on the button in this case i will like with add and now let's copy this one and paste it again oh there is a mistake okay now now it will do the trick okay so we have two buttons and second one is on multiply m u l t l multiply okay now we have created two button now you can see on our web page now let me refresh the page and you can see that here two we have two buttons now let's put a line break between them b r so you can easily see them here let put up another line break between them two and one here so we can see that easily now we have two buttons and two functions now we need to call those function from these buttons so to call they you know we can call them on events events mean for example whenever you click on a button it is an event and we have already discussed that in our previous css series so if you miss it i think if you do not understand what i'm what i'm saying then you should watch that tutorial first and then come to this tutorial okay now i'm going with the on click so to on click we use the on click so it's a attribute which will tell the browser that whenever i you know someone click on that button you should do a specific thing so in this case i want to call the function so in this case i will go with the name of the function add and then brackets i would recommend to copy the name from here and paste it here without semicolon just two brackets and for that for the other one i will copy this one because i am a little lazy in typing you can type it separately and then copy the name of the second function the multiplication function and paste it in the on click attribute of the second button so we have we have two buttons one add and we are calling an addition function in this one and there is another button with the value of multiply multiply and we are calling the multiplication function in that button so now let's go to our web page let's see everything is okay here i think so here the the total of multi application multiplication if there is a spelling mistake no let's ignore them now let's go to our web let's save this one first and this one as well go to browser refresh the page and now whenever we click on the add button it display a pop up and this saying that the sum of the sum is equal to 60 okay now let's check the other one with the multiply is saying that the total num the total of multiplication is equal to 275 so actually the both of these button are calling the adding function and the multiplication function so that was the basic concept of javascript functions and they are really useful because you know to make the pages more interactive we use the functions quite often lee so that is it for this tutorial take care of yourself and don't forget to watch our next one goodbye follow us on youtube facebook twitter google plus visit our website www.sartreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more.